Okay, so we're looking at the next session and we're looking at progressions in spiritual leadership. And we're going to be taking a case study from the life of Elisha and Elijah. Okay? A number of things are worthy of our note here for those of us who are going to be effective leaders in God's kingdom. Now, in the story of Elijah and Elisha, at the time Elijah was leaving, we will find out that Elisha was a student in the school of the prophets, but he wasn't the only student there. There were many other students there. Now, in the story that is in the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, 2 Kings 2, 3, we will realize that it was like there was a divide. It was Elisha and the sons of the prophet. Now, notice when Elisha was going with Elijah, he had to come down to, he got to Gilgal. From Gilgal, he came to Bethel. From Bethel, he came to Jericho. From Jericho, he came to Jordan. Now, in each of these places, there were schools of prophets in each of these places. In other words, Elijah, Elisha had sons in ministry in each of these places, but Elisha was a different kind of son. Elisha was a servant. And so you will realize that Paul oftentimes when he was talking about himself and the revelation of himself in Christ Jesus, he always described himself as a born servant. Paul, a born servant of the Lord. Paul, a born servant of the Lord. You can be a student of a man and not be a servant. Now, servant there is not an oppressive or subservient position. Servant is a posture of the heart that allows a younger believer to minister to a more matured or older minister of the gospel. So Paul will say that this is my son. He serves with me in ministry. Am I communicating with you? And so ultimately, every time Elisha got down to Gilgal, there were sons of the prophet there who said, do you know your master will be taken from you today? When he got down to Bethel, there were sons of the prophet there who said, do you know your master will be taken from you today? Am I communicating with you? They were sons of the prophets. They weren't just sons of the prophets. They were prophets. They were able to see. They received revelation and inspiration that Elisha also had received. But they saw Elisha as a servant. They were students. They had paid tuition to be instructed. But Elisha was a servant who was serving to receive grace and step into the office that Elijah was going to leave and make vacant. Am I communicating with you? In like manner, we'll see it's a New Testament model that Paul had different relationships in his life. He had Priscilla and Aquilia. They were his ministry partners. He had um, uh, Phoebe. They were his ministry partners. But the person who actually carried the stature of Paul ultimately was Timothy. He says, I have no one like-minded like this one. And he was the one who said, when you are coming, bring my parchment. Your parchment are those things, the history of your revelation, your work, the instructions God has given to you. So for Timothy to know where the parchment of Paul was, that is not a common thing. Am I communicating with you? So you will see that already Paul was positioning Timothy to have access to his work and his life in God. And ultimately, as Tim Paul passes out of the scene, those things will become the inheritance of Timothy because he was not just a student of Paul, he was Paul's servant. And servant there does not mean oppressive. It means that he lent his shoulders to make ministry easier for Paul the apostle. And now understand that to be a servant there again is not the way you treat your housemaid. It simply means that you are in service to the one that God has given a principal assignment. Is that clear? Okay? So, I'll take this up the next time we come to the class. Bless you. Hi there. My name is KJ Ajay. I'd like to use this opportunity to invite you to the Incorruptible Seed Church at the Excellence Hotel and Conference Center on the 22nd and 29th of January 2017. We'll be looking at the theme, the laws of increase. God wants you to be prosperous, to multiply, but he has guidelines for this prosperity and for the advancement of his kingdom. Be my guest, 22nd and 29th, January 2017. Excellence Hotel and Conference Center, 9 a.m. in the morning. God bless you.